What's up, guys? Welcome to Grinding for the Millie Day 8. And today is the Millie Sunday. So, um, we're trying to get... We have we have a seat in the Millie. But uh, let me go over the bank call so you guys can see what's up. Uh, we'll save the best for last, so to speak. So, Bobata, we're at 260. Up a little bit from 213. Um, merge, uh, we're up four grand. Uh, up from the 3500 or 3600 we were before. That's courtesy of the two uh, PLO8 2K Bank. And on on the ACR, we were at 303. Now we're down to 132. Um, so basically, I mean. Uh, I'm already in the middle of the grind, in the midst of the grind, we just started, and um, we had to pull off the seat because obviously the roll is really small, and we're trying to get back into the millie. Um, what comes to worst, we will get into the millie, um, but that's it, pretty much the roll itself, and that's it. Uh, hopefully that's not the case, because that just would suck, because that means there'll be no more WPN roll unless we cash in the milling. Um, just made a bonehead move. I just want to kind of let you guys know. I made a bonehead move. There's, we're in a 100 seat, 3 seat hyper, 9 seat payout. There's 14 people left. I 3x H10 suited under the gun. I'm like second in chips. A guy... Basically, with about 75% of my chips, sticks it in. You should be folding. In fact, there'd be arguments to be made to just fold H10 suited UTG. Yeah, uh, that's just a no brainer move. Um, I called the guy, showed his queen. He, he, he hold basically, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, I keep on making those same mistakes. Especially in a situation where you don't need to accumulate chips to get to first place. You just need to get into, into the money or the saddy seats. So that was just a disappointment. I can't believe I did that. Uh, but I want to share it to you guys, you know, hopefully um, you guys can benefit from that. Um, worked out at the gym yesterday, did uh, arms and back, felt good. Uh, weight right now is at 187, hasn't changed, still at the same weight it was yesterday. Uh, we got fours here, we're going to go live guys, we got fours in that same hyper. We're in the big blind and we're going to go with it. We got five bigs and uh, let's see if we hold and get that double, that much needed double. Okay, folks, a small blind, he's thinking about it. He's short too, he has six bigs, I have five bigs. Um, he crowned like a call off. Either way, my, you know, either way is fine with me. I wouldn't mind him folding. Okay, he puts me in. He has seven four suited. He hits the seven on the flop. We hit a four on the turn, <laughs> and we double six life, guys. Not only do we double. But we get a guy closer to the out game. So we went from 13th and we catapulted ourselves up to um, up to sixth place. Uh, we're gonna keep it rolling, guys, until we get the seat. So um, surprise treat here. Uh, H90 in the small blind, eight big. We got six bigs in the big blind. Uh, we're going to be cramming up blind with blind. Um, even if Blue Monster jams, he only had a big blind. We're going to re cram. And uh, basically, free roll here. Big blind, thinking about it. Tanking, tanking, tanking. Let's see, he's tanking. Uh, he's tanking still. Okay, button wakes up with ace eight. We have H9. Uh, okay, we chop it with the button. 
which is fine. We basically do chop up the big blind. Um, yeah, that's fine. So we are now in fifth place, and we're locked into fifth place. We got ducks on the button. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere with that, man. With ducks. Uh, yeah, it goes cram, recram from the uh, hijack and cutoff. We're on the button with deuces. We're folding it. This would be a blessing, guys, if we're able just to hold and get a seat. 13 people left. Uh, nine people get seats. Eight versus eight, seven. Eight get there and knocks out Blue Monster who crowned blind with the blind with me on seven four suited, which that's kind of gutsy because if I have any Broadway or anything, I'm going with it. So I don't think that's the best shove. Especially, I have a theory. Sometimes when you lose a big pot, some people just go tilt crazy and just call off. So that's my theory, and uh, that means I'd be calling, be spike calling anything, you know, super short kind of deal. But in the reality, you know, we would, I wouldn't be, uh, not anything. But uh, so we're now down to twelve players, and see, this would all have been avoided if I defaulted a cent suited. I could just be cruising to the seat. Here I had a couple of nail biters. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we should be okay. We got a, real, a, a, a shorty in. A shorty almost all in. We got a shove. Looking at two tables here, guys. So basically, the two tables left. 12 players left. Button jams. I folded H deuce off, by the way, in the, uh, the hijack. And uh, button jump, he has all the chips. He's making a statement. He's making a, a pretty profound statement. And it gets through for the button. This is a hyper, so basically each level is like three minutes. Uh, also, I'm also playing another Saudi. Um, it's a warm up to 5k guaranteed. Five seats guaranteed. We're in first place. The, basically, the final table. Nine people left. Um, doing some work, guys. Doing some work. Now we got a button cramming for four bigs into a seven big stack. And the hyper, and we get the call. So Jack three on the button, is King on the big blind, and it's suited, and he wins. So Twitchy try to. I'm gonna put a little note here. This guy plays a lot, so uh, four BBs shoves Jack three O on Saudi bubble. Uh, I'm gonna put open shove button open shove button. Okay, I'll open my note. So, and we get popped. So we're gonna fold our jack three offshoot in the uh, big line. So we are holding steady, uh, two away from a seat. We're in uh, fifth place, and in the uh, other Saudi, which is the $50 buy-in Saudi, uh, to get into the $50 buy-in one first out of nine. Um, the chip leader on this hyper Saudi, he's just going nuts at my table. He's just raise, raise, raising, trying to knock people out, which is fair, which is fair. Um, this is the exact scenario of me grinding, you guys can see the liveness about it. Oh, snap.
Oh wow. So here's some here's some pretty crazy stuff right here, guys. I got jacks on the button. Alright. But guess what? I'm folding my jacks on the button. As, as weird as that may sound, I'm folding jacks on the button, guys. It's a sad. It's a sad. You five bigs. I'm on the button. The big blind is the chip leader, so you can call pretty much anything. Uh, it's a fold. Okay, we got another person out in the hyper. So we're one more person away from a seat. One more person away from a seat. Uh, yeah. And we just got we just lost a person in the other saddy. Uh, top five payout for seats, so we just need uh, three more people to bust. All right. All right, big blind. Uh, the uh, chip leader is putting a lot of pressure on the big blind. He's just jamming in him. He knows pretty much she'll fold everything. The guy with one big blind, he's just holding on for dear life. He just not happy. All right, we got another all in on the other table. Ooh. Okay, so we are we need two more people to bust and we grab a seat. Well, this one, since we're roll so low, we're not necessarily grabbing a seat per se. We're going to grab the cash and uh, just try to spend some more stuff up. It's just leveraging it, basically. That's what we're trying to do. The leveraging concept. Yeah, we're two out of seven, five pay seats, so. The guy that's uh, in last place, he is UTG with one big blind. But less than a big one, and he sits out. I would imagine the chip leader just jams here. Oh, he folds. Wow, cool, 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 cool. So hopefully I get a walk, which would be nice. Oh wow, let's see. Let's see if I get that walk. That's in this mom line. You're thinking about it. yeah, eight big, I have five bigs. And he knows the guy in the UTG is gonna be in the big one, so he knows that. And he folds me. That's good. We get a walk. We get some cushion. Uh, and now we're down to one more player for a seat in the 50, which is nice. Uh, we're two out of six, I believe. Should show. Oh, no. I thought we were. Never mind. Two more seats. Two more players left. All right. There's a guy all in. By default, we're we'll just gonna check it down. Uh, we need a three here. Okay, hopefully, no way has something. And he does. We get the seat into the hundred seat saddie for the mill. Okay, again, I need to re reiterate this. What I'm not been so much stress or so stressful had I not opened that H10 suit in hand and not then then not only that but not compounded it with uh calling off when I I hundred percent knew I'm behind. Uh that being said one was done with the other seat. Uh, I'll let you guys in on that one too. Uh we're gonna be one away in a second. It seems like uh, and now the hundred seat Saudi to the milli just popped up. If we win this seat, we are in the milli again. I mean, we're already in the milli, but you know what I mean, guys. You know what I mean. All right, the default all in. 
Okay, one more person away from the seat. And uh, we are sitting three out of six. And there's a guy that is inactive and he'll be in the big blind shortly. So by default, he'll be all in, get a walk, which is nice. Again, those are, those are nice things, dude. Technically, sometimes I like to do like to apply leverage if someone's already going to be all in um, by default. Um, but here, there's no need. I had a shot in the small blind, he folded it. There's a guy going to be, I mean, he's inactive, he's not even playing, so. Um, Yeah. All right. He's all in. Got UTG calling. And it's clean, probably. Cool. Rivered. All right. So we got a seat there, guys. Um, I right, filled you in. It was the vlog run good. Uh, remember, from, uh, learn from my mistakes. Rewind it if you have to. But uh, yeah, it's all good. All right, guys. Remember, I'll keep you guys updated tomorrow as how it all went down. And I'm expecting some good news to tell you guys tomorrow. Peace.